All right, you'll chill. Um, I'm not sure how much you can hear me because it's a bit windy. Uh, finally getting out for my first overnight uh, recorded overnight anyway. Uh, I'm going to a woods. It's about about three mile away from where I can park my van at me, my mum and dad's. Um, it's a, a private wood, so I'm going to do a bit of a. Well, I'm going to try a bit of a stealth camp tonight. See what it's like because I've never really been in this wood before. So I'm going to go see what it's like. If it's any good, I'm going to try and seek permission. See if I can use it as because it is so local. Just use it as somewhere where I can come on a regular basis. Um, so when time. When time doesn't allow me to to get away, it's not that far, so right, I'm gonna plod on and I get back when when I get in there. Okay, see you. Alright you chill. Um just trying to make my way into this woods, but there's a ditch around it with about about two foot of water in. I don't really want to get get sorts of getting into it. So a path in anywhere. Uh, but on my way in, I spotted this. And I don't know whether you can see that. That, or this even, it's come from that. I mean, that's a, that's took a big wind to bring that down. That's a lot of wood. But if I can make it a regular spot, that's also a lot of firewood. So, right, I'm going to carry on and I'll come back to you when I get into the woods. Cheers. Bye. Right, I'm in. It's not a really big wood. Um, I imagine maybe maybe an acre or so, something like that. It's not massive. Um, but what I didn't realise is there's a lot of water in it. Um, I'll just see if I can show you. I'll pan around and I'll show you. All oh, down there. It's not something I want to be drinking, I don't think. Like. Uh, but all down here, all this is all mucky, stagnant water. Uh, and then if we wander over this way, I mean this isn't a bad patch what I'm in in the middle. I'm just a little bit close to one of the sides which I'm not really overly keen about. Uh, but I wonder 180 degrees back the other way and there's another ginormous swimming pole um, so I'm going to carry on I'm going to wander around also these trees are a bit some of them are a bit shaky I don't want to be be near out if it's going to come down. Um, so I'm going to wander around, see if I can find a bit of a clearing, a bit of a flat spot, um, and I'll bring you back then. Cheers, bye. So I'm just going to have my basher going from there to there, across here. It's nice and flat, there's a few sticks and that, but I'll clear all that. Right, and we'll get sorted.
we've all seen a, a basher being set up a million times, so I'm just going to pause here, put it off, and I'll bring you up when I'm all set. Right, this is where I'm at. British Army basher. British Army bivvy bag. Um, just a cheap, I think that one's from being and kill. Tap. Um, I'm going to take the the top off the grass just here in front um, and collect some firewood just in case it gets a little bit cold tonight. But like I say, I'm not massive into having fires and that, especially since I ain't got permission yet. But I am going to seek permission because I don't like it here. Um, I I'm going to get a brew on, get some firewood together and I'll get back to you then. Cheers, bye. That should about do it. Like I say, it's not going to be massive, it's going to be small. Something I can just cook a little bit on. Other than that, that's me really. Right, I've put a little bit of a fire reflector. Now it's special because it's going to come down tomorrow because I'm not going to leave any trace. I'm just going to make sure it's all wrapped up, chucked around. Um, so yeah, uh, got that done. Put my shelter up, got a little fire dog, uh, processed some little bits of wood, not a lot because like I say, I don't need a big blasting fire. Um, since I did the first video, um, 
and said about not having one of them um, back or Laplanders. Um, a few people commented, said how good they was, bits and pieces. I never bought a Laplander because for start with, I've just bought a cheap one. Uh, I think it was from Asda, I think it was like five quid. Um, not big in. Well, it's big enough, like, but. Uh, and I've probably used it a ton of times and I do like it so there's a, a total turnaround for me um, I bought this Chevalier put a paracord wrap on the handle um, I think that was like 6 quid from the range not expensive once again like most markets to be fair and I've made my first jumbo fire steel Put a copper, oh, you can see that or not. Piece of little bit of microball copper, it's all there for the only long yard to go through. Shaped it so it fits my end nicely. So, yeah, happy days, really enjoying. So, something a bit different for me. Right, I'm gonna get that fire going, get my tea on, get a brew on, and I'll bring you back later. Bye. I've got my fire going. Um, I struggled, really did struggle. Um, I don't know what you can see. Um, the wood in this, the wood knocking about, it, oh, the, the wood that I picked up anyway, I don't know whether it was just me. It was a lot damper than what I originally thought it was going to be. Um, and I did struggle. It took me quite a while to get it going. But persevered, got it done. Um, my battery's not great on my my camera, so I'm gonna have my dinner. I'm gonna do that. Uh, it's one of them chili con carnies, some rice. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna turn off my battery. I'm gonna say night night because I probably won't do no more filming tonight. Because um, I want to save a bit so I can show wrapped up and no trace tomorrow and all that. Okay, right, see you in the morning. Night. Good morning. Um, it's about 7 o'clock. Just got up. Um, I'll pan you around so you can see where, where I am, where I slept and that. Um, I'm just gonna kick this this by deflector down, push it out of the way, fill me all in, wrap me tap and kit up. Uh, I might just have a, a bro first, get a bro on. Um, yeah, really nice night, slept really well, got a bit cowled around 4 o'clock ish. Um, first time really that I've, I've ever got cold using that bag. Um, I think maybe maybe get a better better sleeping bag. But yeah, apart from that, everything went great. So I'll bring you back when I'm all wrapped up. Right, right, I'm all wrapped up. Apart from a bit of flat grass, and um, that's where my fire pit was. Apart from that, that's it. As they all say, like leaving our trace. So that's it. Done. Out the way. Right, I'll take you on the walk out the woods, and then I'm off to work in a bit.
quite a lot of game trails knocking around these woods. So there must be some deer near somewhere. I didn't see any, but there must be some about somewhere because the tracks are here. Soft underfoot here. That's not very nice. This is where I came in, but so this is where I leave you. Um, thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one. Right. That wood over there, that is where I was, and on to this back onto this main road is where I'm going. Uh, been a real nice one. Uh, I'm going to seek permission to try and use that wood properly. Um, enjoyed it so. Right, I'm going to head off or back onto the, the road, back to work, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.